Inside this packaging is something that I am excited about because I was kind of a part of this, I believe. Let's get this thing open and show you what it is. What have you been up to? I've been riding on a daydream. City Mons. This is a pitch that I had done a review on prior. And I made clear in the video that you had to be pretty certain about a, a dimension that was on your hitch. And that was basically the dimension between this pin and this handle and how that corresponded with how long your hitch was. My truck at the time would not allow the pin to fully engage the way that it's supposed to. And they were very concerned about that information <laughs> and wanted me to give them dimensions on what was happening and what the problem was. So I did. I showed them what the dimension was and why it needed to be greater. And guess what? They did it and they made improvements. Can you believe that? So here you could see, you could buy this in different configurations. This one comes with a two inch ball, but you could get one with no hitch ball inch and seven eighths, two inch and two and five sixteenths. And this is just a normal hitch. This is not, you know, a weight distribution hitch or anything like that. But for you guys that might be towing something behind your rig, um, this could be your solution. This doesn't require any tools. Um, so not only could you get, you know, different dimensions here uh, of, of balls to be included, you could get yourself a different drop. There's a two inch drop which that's what this one is. You could see 7,500 pounds, or you could get the 10,000 pound, or you could get a, a four inch drop, indicated by these dots. So this is what I got. I got the two inch drop pitch with the two inch ball. And this is, just like the box says, no tool necessary to install it, no tools needed to lock it other than the key, you know, so you don't have to put a lock through there. You don't have to buy anything extra because it includes the anti-theft lock and there's no rattle during the use. It's all built in. It's always great packaging. Uh, you can see the way they shipped it to me in the outside packaging. Um, includes the keys here. And then you have this cut out for the protection of the hitch itself and the shank. And there's the product in its glory. Now there's one added feature that's above and beyond the last time that I got one of these. And that's the addition of this part right here, which is really smart. You're going to find how deep it requires to go into your hitch for this pin to stick out into the hole and then set this depth stop so that you don't have to look for it ever again. You just push it in when it hits up against here or whenever it touches this, you just start cranking this knob. Now look, I'm cranking this knob and you can see nothing's happening at all. Nothing at all. Like I said, it doesn't, this isn't moving. Nothing's moving. Once you put the key in and unlock it, the key won't come back out again. And you just start turning this. And this starts engaging the pin that will line up with your hole on the hitch of your vehicle. Like I just mentioned on my old truck, the dimensions from here to here wasn't enough, so I couldn't even turn this knob. Now, there is a pin that extrudes on both sides of this, so you get that extra added, you know, for that reason. Now, once those pins have extended all the way, like they are now, this part starts coming out, and depending on the receiver and the size in that corner, this will push out to a certain point, and that's how you get your anti-rattle. Now, once that is locked and gauged, and this is up against the shank to keep that rattle out, you just turn the key, cover it up with the, with the tether there, and that's it. Like I said, nobody can take, nobody can steal this. Now, obviously, if they really want to steal it, they can. Um, it's nothing more than them breaking this apart or punching out the, the key. But the fact that it's underneath your vehicle makes it so much harder for them to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and put those things back in, which 
it will retract the anti-rattle part first. Once the pin is completely retracted, you can turn your key, pull it out. Again, close this up, just so it don't rip itself off somewhere. And, and you're done, that's it. Like I said, to find this hole depth, you would just use this piece up top here, and that would keep it to where you don't have to look for it ever again. The hitch itself is made of really good quality steel. I mean, it is, it's big. It is a thick piece of metal here. Good welds all the way around. And then, of course, the bar is not solid because it has those mechanisms inside, but it is good thick channel. I would assume that's quarter inch channel. And... I mean, it's pretty decent. I, I I remember the last one. I liked it a lot. But I was really upset that the hole for my hitch would only allow it to show like a portion of the pin. So they moved all that back. And now I have a great hitch moving forward. 